Who said getting all A's in your Kali transcript means success? That is a societal definition and this is why I love Bertrand Russell. According to him, the man who has no tincture of philosophy goes through life imprisoned in a prejudice derived from common sense, from habitual beliefs of his age or his nation, and from the convictions which have grown up in his mind without the cooperation or consent of his deliberate reason. A lot of people think getting all A's means you make it in life. Look, sometimes before I set my goals for every semester, I always make my emphasis clear. I'm not in Cali to get the A's. If it comes, fine. But I mean, it's just for the experience, you know? <sighs> Let's continue our journey. Even though I would naturally love to spend my entire day with my friends on campus, I constantly remind myself of leaving to work. I am a full-time administrative assistant in a private school, and sometimes after a stressful day, I tend to procrastinate a lot. I have always wanted to hit the gym, submit my assignments, read my lecture slides and all, but it all seems impossible. Those of you who study psychology, in the context of Sigmund Freud's iceberg theory you realize that when you're eight that is what acts on the pleasure principle controls you a lot there's nothing you can do yes i sometimes yearn for the unusual things at usual times you see i crave for social media validation i want to stay updated to the latest gossip and you know what there are people who would always be available for us to talk the whole day about other people and days that I go to the library are days that we should be at a party. Like, I always want my friends to feel comfortable. So I make them take their decisions and I follow. I don't have time for sports, neither am I in any club. Look, let's leave that for the shakos. I will pay a colleague to do my assignment for me. See, university is all about being smart. My lecturers will never notice if someone did it for me. And oh my god, chat GPT is a game changer. But for some of my colleagues, they don't have our lecture timetable and worse on top, some even ask me to send them my personal timetable so that we can learn together. Pre-semester studies is a time dedicated to learning ahead of an upcoming study session or class. Learning ahead in this context means you research about courses you would read and getting some reading text to stimulate your passion for the course. I use my smartphone to keep track of my steady habit. I have consciously trained myself to act on my alarm. I am a type who usually loves to learn around 10 pm, so you'd hardly see me online. I hate deadlines, but I love challenges. It makes me rediscover myself. I have created a culture of going to sit on top of an uncompleted building in my house to remind myself of the why and where my life is heading towards. I am an aesthetically driven person. I love to observe beauty, nature, and the birds count my soul. Because sitting and observing the sky and beautiful people makes me happy. Sometimes it's weird, but that's just me. So yeah, while I was on the road, let me tell you a story. So I actually didn't plan to study dance. I was actually looking forward to reading philosophies in African culture and apparently it clashes with one of my main calls so I had no option than to choose the dance. And you know I'm someone who is so passionate about performing arts so when the opportunity came, I was like, yo, since it's not something that I really want to do and 
I can use the opportunity to learn something new from dance because I had, I had already done dance once there was dance forms of Africa so I was like okay let me just take the opportunity and then I took the opportunity I studied dance I went for the first class second class do you know the painful part you have to go for classes two times a week and I mean if you had other things to do on campus you wouldn't be able to do it but I was able to persevere until the last day the lecturer saw me dancing and he called me and he was like boy your dance is horrible it's bad I was like wow so all this I've been doing all this while was actually bad and no one could tell me but then today I'm going to kill it I'm going to <laughs> juggling work and school is stressful but if I had a chance, I would actively volunteer at Radio Invest and be a member of the Debaters Club. Somewhere in 2018, I was awarded a certificate as a debater and looking back gives me that nostalgic feeling. I mean, why can't I be that now? Independence begins after uni. Make friends, on make friends, ask for help, be it academics, business, personal development. Look, you cannot survive the entire university alone. That is why it is a community. So you need to be part of it. Okay, be part, but be firm on your philosophy. Remember that you are not competing over grades with anyone from high school. Those are things that you should live in the past. Be happy for your friends who win. See you guys in another video.